I'm uh, Honorable Robert Ayala Enoa. I was born when my peers were born. I'm proudly say that Biosar State became one of the first states that rolled out a climate change policy that is domiciled as a product of the state. Except for the follow up, but we were able to roll out a climate change policy. We also called for an international congress at summit on the degradation of the ecosystem of Biosar State. By the IOCs, we were able to take it to that level. When I went on a short break to face and reorganize the business a little, I was brought back to becoming uh, the chairman of the State Environmental Sanitation Authority, where, by the grace of God, I defined the office built on an enforcement house which has never been. In the house was um, the court, I brought in an environmental court into the premises where the activities of the premises hitherto were uh, uh, seems to be close to touting and garage voice was turned to civil states who are more calmer and more organized than the civil service structure because the court is just that. Of course, we are all close to the court premises. Mm -hmm. If you make noise, it's contempt of court. So the whole environment is as calm as possible. Again, we are the police station, so we don't need to go to any police station to make complaints before we make arrests. And then we are the sick bay. Because of our work, we have injuries and all that. You are admitted for some except is a critical case. Mm -hmm. We are first aid alone cannot carry before you are moved to death. So this is the political journey so far. Like that have been back on. And then in 2019, the wave was no longer favorable to the PDP. Because of the way the politics was played, there was no internal uh, regulation and mechanism. There was no kind of consultation and all that. People were taken for granted. We balkanized the party into pieces. And being a political animal, I had to cross over to the APC, the alternative platform. And of course, we took the state by storm. It was a revolution. But God always has, has his way. While preparing for the swearing of the man that won the election, outrightly overwhelming the Supreme Court ruling came. And uh, we are having a miracle of So that is still God. Nobody can do anything about it. I find it difficult to comment on that because I'm also involved. A stakeholder. Uh, a stakeholder. Serious stakeholder. Not only a stakeholder. There was a, a book written by one of these uh, strong scholars in Nigeria, Nikol Duku, also. I said, because I'm involved. Because I'm involved, I find it difficult to actually talk seriously about the health We, the political allies of the health of, of, of this generation, of 1999, the present generation have failed the founding fathers of the state outright. As much as I cannot protect myself, I must also know the economical will be truth. We, the gladiators from 1999 to the present day, has failed the founding fathers of the state, just like the, the generation of Nigeria today has failed the founding fathers of Nigeria. That is the story of the state. There is always room for improvement. Will you say we've not been involved in the scheme of things in this country? No. The South South for now is favored. The Niger Delta for now is favored. 
we have on board our sons and daughters of our in charge of sensitive uh, officers and portfolios. Now, will you go and blame it from the other tribes? Why not do what seems right to do and somebody is dragging you back before you complain and all your people will now come and complain? But that is not being done. We have all that is needed to take care of this. Yes, we will have our own hiccups. But if you don't complain, yeah, if you are manning this table, there is no feedback on your people. It's assumed that all is well with you. So I find it difficult, extremely, extremely difficult. Because we have gone to the top, and we are still occupying sensitive uh, uh, offices too. Yeah. Or even as we speak. Yes. So the other pieces with Bayer's estate, that's this one of them. So I really don't know who to blame and how to blame, where to start blaming and what to blame. Uh, the best politician would have been a businessman. Uh, in the foreign or the the first world. A civilized country, mm -hmm. you must have a real atom of business. And for an economy to drive, there will be an element of industrialization, and industrialization is business. Uh, when you say administration, who are you administering? What do you administer? Administration is both civil and industrial. If you go only civil and there is no industrial part of what happens? If you don't have the key elements to drive an economy, what happens to you? Of course, the will be there to obey you. But hunger can also cause crisis. So no matter how intelligent your administration will be, or you will be as an administrator, if you don't have the component of business drive, or driving a business, and bringing industrialization on board, and it is only a business, seizing businessman, that can instigate industrialization. And we feel mostly because we are not finding square pegs into the square holes. Sometimes we want to force the round peg into a square hole or a square peg into a round hole. And it's not working out for us. The more you do it, the more you spoil the system and the more you are dragged backward. So the person that is smart and uh, quick enough to so find the square peg in the square hole, moves on and gets the goals. So, for me, the politics is an hobby, the business is my calling. But if for any reason or for any chance the political mantle comes, I tell you that I will bring my little experience in the, the, the industrial sector to bear on the administration and everybody becomes a businessman in the system. Mm. And if everybody becomes a businessman, you've been to Dubai. 90% of the activities of Dubai is industrialization and business. From transport to everything. So those who talk about administration is very possibly 5%. And that is why the city is growing in leaps and bounds. Anything they want to do, they do it and they achieve it. It's just a dream. And they always dream. So they, are not, they don't struggle to grow. We are struggling to grow because we have not gotten it right. And we don't also want to sit back to think of how to get it right. And it's most unfortunate. You can be a proud journalist if you have, yes, you have the brain. But you have a fallback, somebody that gives you energy. That drives. That drives. So there has never been any time we have really. It's not to say you want to be the Dubai, it's not to say it. It's to show the When we wanted to build here, the view of this place was flawed, flooded, and we had the determination. The, the, the number of tippers of sand that entered into this place is more than 
500 tippers. Is it 500 or possibly it is going, running into 1,000 of the 10 tires? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And we have to scrape the mud and start to build what is called rafting nets. So we built this place on the raft net. And by the grace of God till today it's still stable. And we still it will still be stable till the next hundred years. So there is no time, it's not to say I want to build an hotel. You want to build an hotel is a statement. Yes. Just like you read your primary school book readers and say, um, Ojo is a boy, say it after me, Ojo is a boy. Ojo can only be a boy when you know that Ojo is a, uh, a physical man yeah. in uh, an infant uh, stage. There is no youth organization in this um, state that have not come to me for patronage and I don't stand for them. I stand for them because I want to age gracefully and peacefully. In my later days, I want youths that will grow up to be men that will be able to say, this is my mentor. This man brought about this and this and this and this. And thankful enough, quite a lot of them have been transformed through my being close to them. So, I can also give that credit to the use of the interest and that is possibly some of us also, well, some of us were involved. But at the end, SARS crisis that engulfs every state, none was, no, 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 no remarkable uh, um, crisis. It's not as if we are not part of the civil protest where the protests that took about 12 days, the Bayelsa youths were actively involved, but it was all civil. When it went viral and uh, gaga, when the miscount uh, took the center stage, we withdrew. And that is why some of us were involved. Because those that will go and cause wala, you can talk to them. Those that will go and cause trouble, you can at the good was of course. Of course, if you know, you know, you know that if there was trouble, this place would have been a flashpoint. And they know they cannot come here. So if they cannot come here, where else would they go and cause trouble? So it would have been very useful to them. Leadership is also not for everybody. Mm. All right. It's a personal race. And it's also not supposed to be self-imposed. Um, the state is small and the potentials are huge. So it's for us to, to refresh our minds, to position ourselves, and then know that we are just very interested. I used to read um, one of these uh, uh, write-offs of the um, Russian president concerning Africa. This is, in quotes, that Africa is a cemetery. That Africa worships in Jerusalem and uh, Arab, Mecca. We go for holidays in the, um, the West. And then our medicals in India and other places. Our tourism in Dubai. And then when we die, we are brought back to Africa. That Africa is a cemetery. And it will be ridiculous for a diasporian to read that and not find his roots. Because it's not for me who stays here. I don't take, I don't take uh, uh, satisfaction. I don't, I don't do holidays. I don't like doing holidays. I don't. Everybody around me knows. 
There was a time I had no travel document at all. It's even the chairman that is coming, compelling me to get visas here and there. No. Because I believe that we can turn this place. If you go around by Elsa, unfortunately, the time is limited. You know that giving a direction, giving a will between now and the next eight years, Elsa State in Enegua will become a tourist destination. As much as we are in a disadvantaged end, disadvantaged end in the sense that there is no transit to another state. This is the end of the world. We can still be a tourist destination because of the potentials we have, which are not common in most of the states. So it is for the diaspora to come and explore. You know, wherever they stay is temporary. There is no place like home.